stuck, if you don't have an impact branch or something, then you gotta somehow get this stuck. So I'll try this board. It's an 18, 18 millimeter. So this time we try this one, hooked it up real hard. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, it was pretty loose. Got a washer here. And of course that goes to... It looks like it's been pretty far out. So I push Yeah, this has been changed It's not easy No, this is the original, yeah So this is Hope you can see it See, we've got almost a centimeter here Of restriction Yes, so this is the original. Yeah, that's good to know. I'll measure the weight, see how, how big they are. Get back. But this is how it looks. So this one goes out when it's turning. They push out and then, as you can see, they get higher here. They push, they push this one out. And that pushes against that one. So the whole thing is pushed. Pushed uh, and, the, and, the, and the belt goes higher. And it goes faster, the speed. So 9.5. 45 gram Sometimes they mix the weights But this seems to be the same all around This is the restrictor See you can't you can't go all the way We'll measure how long this is and the diameter and so on so we get some kind of out pointing there but nothing you can remove no leaks that's nice it's a bit dirty though might clean it up a bit motor number sc10b and it's the same as the honda dio i believe but it's longer it's for 12 inch wheels so we're pretty much the same otherwise i believe that was is what i've heard i never had a honda dial i'm gonna measure some parts here just to learn how to what size they are so i can compare them if i want to buy replacement parts this is supposed to be 38 i believe and that is uh, 37, yeah. And the restrictor is uh, it's about one centimeter. Is it 20? No, it's more. Yeah, on the big side. We got an F there also. So here we have 20 millimeter. Yeah, you have to trust me if you can't see it. And here we have. 22, 14 I believe, yeah, it's 14 millimeter, so we could get the, it looks like the belt has been out here at least, maybe because they put bigger weights, I don't know, I don't know what the original is, but uh, yeah, we got 80, 88 or something like that, 87, 88, 87, so I'm just cleaning it a bit. Let's 
get the worst part out. So on some of these non-restrictive uh, variators, you also get some cutouts along the way here so that it will help to cool, cool the fan system. Get here, put it all back together. This one goes here. So this is the hose I bought, 5 millimeters in a, in a diameter, times 11, it uh, looks pretty okay. And it should take 10% of ethanol, should be ready for it. I'm gonna replace the fuel lines, at least the main fuel line. It's pretty hard and uh, I put this here. This uh, fuel we have here in Sweden is 10% uh, ethanol. Normally you can find fuel that is 5% ethanol. But this ethanol is uh, making uh, leaks uh, and uh, destroys gaskets and so on. So it often leaks and so on and, and uh, it destroys the, the gaskets in the petcock valve and so on. So anyway, I'm gonna replace it with this is supposed to be able to manage 10% ethanol not 100% or 85% but 10% E10 as they call it, E10 and of course I use the, the old one as a template where to cut it and uh, maybe this isn't the best Knife might be better. Yeah. A little bit longer. I think it will work. Put this on the end. Maybe I need bigger ones. This has a six head bolt, so you can use sockets also, small ones. So, if the pet cock valve is working, then this line going with the fuel should not uh, it should not leak. Fuel if the gasket is okay in here. Only when you pull vacuum in this cable, then it uh, opens up. But uh, they can be bad and so on. But anyway, I decided to drain the tank so it has no fuel at all. Just might maybe a tiny in the, in the floor. So I'm gonna replace this line here. So I'll start with this one and then have a basket ready if, if there comes a fuel, some fuel. If there comes fuels, then you can fast move it up higher than the gas tank and it will stop coming fuel. So this line is really hard. I don't know if it's the original, but uh, it has been leaking here some. Come on. 
it was tight. <laughs> Even though it was leaking, it's really tight. Oops. Yeah, got some fuel there coming. Just a little bit. So that's nice. Then I can pull it, make sure that it's drained. Yeah. Then I can try and pull this out. Oops. Yeah, I might have to cut this one. These are pretty effective, I must say. It's really stuck there. There we have it. We use this as the template for the new one. need to get some uh, some of this that match this is too small so try to match so you can screw the, this on later Yeah, you get the picture. And there we have it. Bill tema. <laughs> so, replace the vacuum and so on, maybe later. But this is the start.